Hey there, it's Luke here and welcome back to another MicroPython video on the M5 Stack official channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another of the M5 Atomic modules, and that is the Atom TF card kit. On the docs page here, we can see various information about it, such as that it accepts up to 16 gigabyte FAT or FAT32 formatted SD cards. Down below we'll see which pins interface with the SD card, the Mozzie, CLK and MISO, which we'll need to remember for later. First let's go ahead and format our SD card. I tend to use the SD formatter from sdcard.org, but you can use whatever formatter you like as long as it's in FAT or FAT32. So go ahead and format your card, make sure that you do a full overwrite as it's best to clear everything off the card. Now in order to use the M5 Atom in the Moo IDE, there's just a little modification that we need to make. By default, Moo only searches for some of the USB to UR chips included in ESP32 devices. We just need to add the one that M5 Atom uses to the list. To find that list we go into Applications, right click Moo and go into Contents, then go into Resources, App, Moo, Modes and then open the ESP.py file. Scroll down and we can see the various chips here. We just need to enter in this line. You can copy and paste it from the description down below. On Windows the setup is more or less the same. The ESP.py file is just kept in this location instead. On opening Moo for the first time, you'll be asked which mode you want to program in. We'll choose ESP MicroPython. You can also change this option in the settings, which you can see in some of my other MicroPython videos. It's possible that you might get a message like this, but just make sure to reset or reconnect your M5 Atom device and the problem should be resolved. Now open the REPL and we should start to see a stream of data. Hit Ctrl and C to kill any processes. And now we have the command prompt. Some of the M5 stack devices that already have an inbuilt SD card will set up the SD automatically. With M5 Atom we need to do a little bit of work. First we'll import the OS module so we can have a look around in the SD once we've mounted it. Then we import from machine, SD card and pin. As I'm testing things here in the REPL, I'll go ahead and copy the commands we need into our script. Now to set up the SD we need to confirm those pins, which we saw in the docs earlier. We need to set it to slot 2, then the SCK pin is 23, MISO pin is 33, Mozzie pin is 19, and then we need to input the frequency as well. Once we've done that, we can now mount it with the UOS mount command, pass the variable, then followed by the directory that we want to access it at. Now we can do a quick check to list the contents by using the OS list directory command. If you've never dealt with reading and writing files in Python before, let's have a quick review. When we open a file, we also need to state what we want to do with it, whether we want to read, write, or append. If we simply write to the file, each time the previous content will be overwritten, so we need to use A instead for append if we want to add to the existing data. We might also add a plus to each of these letters which also gives extra functionality. Also, X can be used if the file doesn't already exist. So here I'll go ahead and create a new text file with F, open, directory, and then new text, followed by X and plus. This means I want to create the file and then write to it. Now let's quickly check that the file was created with the list directory function. And there it is. As the first test, we'll write a simple hello world message. It returns the amount of bytes written. Now if you try to read the file, we'll notice that it's empty. This is because we have to close it first. 
So if we close it and then use the same argument as before to open, only this time using the R argument to read the file, we'll see that our text was written. If we want to, we can delete this file using the OS remove function. Now let's start to build a more complex program where we'll incorporate the IMU or accelerometer and use the button to stop the recording to the file. This kind of program can be used to log the data from any kind of sensor. You can find the code posted on my GitHub. Make sure to reset the device before running the code. As if the SD has already been mounted, it will throw up an error. Now I run the program for a little while, press the button to stop, and now we'll check what kind of data was written. Now we have some various readings from the sensor. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Make sure to leave us a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.